Hello there and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we'd take a look at the histogram tool within Luminar Neo. Um, so in front of us we've got a small number of um, random images that I took and I thought we'll select a small number of them and have a look at the histograms for them and see what we can learn from that. So um, let's open up the first image, select edit, and we have here, this is the um, Waverley Abbey Ruins uh, close to Farnham. So I'll, I'll also add an extra slightly larger version of the histogram for you to lift the screen. Um, hopefully that helps. So histograms, if, if you're new to them, um, are just a graphical representation of the brightness of your image. That's that's all it does. It, shows you whether or not your your photo is um, correctly exposed, underexposed or overexposed. That's um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And whether you're looking at a histogram on the camera or in um, photo editing software, they, they both do the same thing. They will show you um, the brightness of your image. And if we look at this histogram here in Neo, um, they, they all work the same. They they go from the dark um, side through to um, the brightness of the image. So um, on the left hand side, you start off with blacks. Um, as it gets slightly lighter, you, you're hitting the shadows. And then as you start moving through the image, you're hitting the mid tones. And then as we get across to the as the image is getting lighter, we then start looking at the highlights and we finish off on, on the whites. So the important thing really is dark to the left hand side, bright whites to the right hand side and anything in between is somewhere in the middle. The tool itself, um, if we look at the tool um, before we start looking at the image here, the tool itself in Neo, um, you notice where it's positioned. It's not an editing tool. It's not amongst the essentials or anything like that. You can't edit your image with the histogram. The histogram just shows you the results of any changes to the brightness that you may make. So if you make any changes within the development tool, um, which may make your image brighter or darker, they will be reflected in your histogram. So, um, but the two little things that the histogram does do is if you click in it, you can flick between um, slightly different views. You get a view here of the um, red, green, blue channels. If you click again, it will give you those channels uh, one at a time. So you've got the red channel, green, blue. And if you click again, you then get the luminosity channel, which is the brightness channel on its own. And that probably, to be honest, is the, is the most useful um, channel. So there you go. So. Um, the histogram is showing you the um, brightness of your image and it runs from dark on the left to bright on the right. Boom. OK, so the other tool that's available um, within Neo are these clipping um, circles that you can see here. So we've got two little circles and if I left click inside them, they switch on the clipping tools. So on the left hand side, the dark side, they will now warn me if my image is uh, become too dark that we're losing data. And on uh, the right hand side, I'll get a colored warning if the image is so bright that we've lost data. And um, just to show you that quickly, if you've not seen clipping before, if I come down to develop here, open up develop, and we'll go to the exposure control here. If I pull the exposure control to the left to underexpose my image, and I'll do it slowly, we will start seeing um, some clipping coming in any moment now. There we go, and we're starting to see. And what that's telling us there is that anything that is blue, that is I clipped, um, we have now lost all data within that part of the picture. So if I was to switch off the clipping tool, so you can see it without the blue. It's just basically saying that's just sheer black now. Any data that was 
previously viewable is no longer viewable. So put the clipping tool back on. By contrast, if I move the exposure dial back across to the right, past the center point, um, and then start making the image brighter, you see we get red. And that's telling us that we're losing um, data in the brighter parts of the image. And here we can see that we're losing detail in the clouds. And if I was to carry on a little bit further on, we see here now that almost half the image is now blown out. And so there's no image. And again, if I switch off the clipping tool, that's basically just, just nothingness in, in the image now. So put that back on. Okay, so just to return the exposure to what it was, just gonna double click, put it back to default. So this image that I took um, was unedited. So this is what I took in camera. So this was a pretty well exposed picture. And other than any additional editing I want to do with it, um, as far as exposure goes, there's nothing wrong with this picture. So I can move on to other things. So let's um, switch off that tool for a second. Let's come back to catalog, choose another image. Um, let's take a look at this one, which is slightly different. And select edit. And let's bring the uh, Instagram back to you. Okay, so now we've got a uh, photo of part of a car from the um, Motor Museum at Bewley. So this has got, um, it's got quite a lot of reflections. I used flash when I took this photo. It's got reflections I can see in the image that I may or may not have lost some um, detail and I may or may not be able to recover that um, in editing. So let's, again, this is a raw image. So I'll switch on the, um, it's a raw image, but has been um, unedited at this moment. So let's switch on the um, clipping tools. I'm just gonna press the letter J to switch toggle them on. And we can see that my base image, which is in raw, um, has got some clipping warnings there. So it is slightly overexposed on those points because it's it's picked up the reflections from my from my flash. Um, so what I can do is let's um, have a quick look and see if I can remove that without um, perhaps darkening the the image too much. So let's have just a, a very quick look. So I'm going to come down to develop, let that open up. And we'll look at the exposure control here. Um, and I'm just going to slowly pull it across to the left to underexpose the image very slightly and see if I can get rid of those clippings without making the image too dark. So there we go. So there, um, contrary to the original image, because this was raw and it saved all the data that it could in the image, I've been able to recover um, that image. And I could, if I wanted to, if I wanted to brighten up a little bit, I could actually increase the, the highlights a bit and that will, and, and as I do that, you'll see that the histogram will move slightly across to the right as I'm doing that. And just there, you can just see it's just starting to clip again there, but I got a little bit and that's about, that's about right to, to my eyes. So I'll be quite happy with that. So. The histogram was useful there for me to see what was clipping, where um, where the data that was currently lost has, has, has now been reclaimed back. So that's been quite useful. So, yeah, so there's that image there. Let's um, switch off the clipping tool there. Let's come back to the catalog and choose another image. OK, this time we'll look at um, an image with a particularly dark background. Let's. Um, Take this one here, edit, give it a moment, kick in, and uh, let's put back on the Instagram view. Right, there we go. So here we've got um, subject against a dark background. So this is a, a low key image. I wanted this image to be dark. Um, I think this is one of my very first photo shoots years ago, to be honest, it's a family shoot. 
Um, but um, yeah, so let's see what, um, again, it's a raw image. So it gives me um, a little bit of leeway that you wouldn't get with um, a JPEG. I don't think on that last picture we saw the motor car, if that was a JPEG, I don't think I've been able to recover that, that data. So yeah, so I'm gonna press J and look at, um, see what the clipping tool tells us. So not surprisingly, because it's a black background, we're seeing some um, clipping there. We've, we've lost some data. If it was just the black, uh, sorry, if it was just the background, I wouldn't be too fussed. Um, but I do see here that we, uh, I've lost detail around the left side of the, uh, the mold's face. And so that would certainly need some work on. So what I can do is if I come back to um, the develop tools, and I'm not going to go into editing this, this image in any great weight, uh, great way or shape or form. But um, what I will do is um, I'll have a quick look at the profiles for this image. Because it's a raw, I get this additional option of being able to select profiles that um, Neo suggests for my camera. And usually I quite often, I will flick between portrait and standard to see if that gives me an improved um, option before I even start. So I'm just gonna click on camera portrait here. And you can see there straight away that we've lost the clippings straight away without me even having done any editing yet. So the just by selecting that profile, um, it has improved the image enough to, to remove those clippings. So I'll just, um, just gonna left click here to, to get rid of that. So yeah, so if we now go back and have a look at the um, histogram, we can see that now the histogram, although it's almost fully to the left, it's not quite there. So we haven't lost any detail at all. We're not clipping. We've got the clipping lights are on. So we've got no warning. So all the data, all, all the data that is available to me um, is there. And um, obviously because there are no whites in this image, it's not going to go all the way across to the right hand side. The model's wearing gray against a black background. She has dark hair. So this histogram is fine. Um, I've heeded the warnings, we've looked at it, and um, when it comes to editing this, I would edit this and perhaps throw the um, the background fully fully out of, um, maybe darken it so it's completely gone, or maybe leave it in just so you can see some of the ruffles of the, the sheet there, I don't know. But um, yeah, so useful, um, useful information from the histogram for that image and a very quick fix in getting rid of the clipping by just selecting the profile there. Okay, let's um, let's just move on back to catalog and we'll just finish off on that. We'll use the, the opposite of that now. We'll um, select an image with, uh, with a white background. Uh, pretty girl or ugly old man? Pretty girl, no, let's go for the ugly old guy. And select edit. Okay, so we'll just give that a moment to kick in. Let's put it on the um, histogram. So this image here, um, the opposite of the previous one. So we've got a white background. And other than that, I'm just wearing red and gray. Uh, it's pretty much mid-tones type thing, skin tones there. Um, not an awful lot to see. If we look at the histogram, we will see uh, it doesn't come across to the left hand side. So we're not, there's no possibility of um, clipping there or um, crushing um, as they call it for, for, the, for the blacks on the dark side. Ten, clipping tends to refer more often than not to the, to the whites, the bright side, but um, it's a generic term. So clipping to darks or lights, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so we're not, we're not losing any detail on the on the on the blacks because there are none. Um, if we look at this histogram and follow it, we can see it, it peters out there, and then there's an actual gap, and the actual white background has, has separated from that, and is showing us there. Now, if I switch on the um, clipping warning, let's see what we get. 
Okay, so it's completely, it's telling us that the background, which is white, is completely blown out. There's no detail in, at all in that other than that very um, top left hand corner. And that would have been just missed because my, my flash that was pointing towards the white background wasn't strong enough to, to finish the job off, but that could easily be amended in, uh, in editing. So again, yeah, so that's fine. I must admit my beard is a bit longer there than, uh, than usual. So, uh, must've been a very lazy week. Although having said that beards can be very helpful, particularly at, uh, Late in the evening, if you're feeling a bit peckish, you'll, you'll always find a bit of Cornish pasty or something in there somewhere. However, anyway, so back to the histogram. Uh, blacks are good, they're not touching. The um, whites are touching, and they are showing us, they are warning us, but that is what I intended. So that histogram is perfectly correct too. So, yeah, so that's about it I think let's just come back to the catalog and um, oh let's have a quick look at this just to finish off nothing to do with the histogram on this one I just think this is a this is Chester I photographed Chester a couple of days ago and I just think he's a stunning looking dog as a whippet um, thought I'd just share that with you before you go Okay, and on that note, um, thank you for watching. If you found this useful, please um, like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.